Hello dear students, our today's topic is synthesis of sulfa cetamide which is a sulfa drug and is used as antibacterial. Look at the structure of sulfa cetamide. The name will indicate the presence of this acetyl group on the amide nitrogen of sulfanilamide. For the IUPC nomenclature, our basic system will be this portion which is nothing but a carboxylic acid amide and it is called as acetamide that is CH3CONH2. One of the hydrogen of this amide is get substituted with this group. That's why the IUPC name of sulfacetamide consists of the basic nucleus acetamide where on nitrogen we have presence of this group and this is simply 4 amino benzene sulfonyl group because this is position number 1, this is 2, this is 3 and this is 4. On fourth position we have amino group so we will call it 4 amino this is benzene so it is benzene and this SO2 is called this sulfonyl that's why the complete IUPC name of sulfacetamide is N4 amino benzene sulfonyl acetamide this drug is used as antibacterial in treatment of acne and seborrheic dermatitis now move on to the synthesis of this compound which is very important part the synthesis starts with the reaction between aniline and acetic anhydride. The amino group of aniline attack on one of the acetyl group. This gives the nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction by attack of this amino group on one of the acetyl group and this help release out one acetic acid molecule that is CH3COOH thus an acetyl group is introduced onto this amino group this gives us the formation of this first product that is called as acetanilide by introduction of acetyl group the amino group is protected to react in further reaction conditions also it direct the further substitution reaction at this para position because now this acetamide group is a weakly activating and ortho para director but though this group is a bulkier one there is a steric hindrance and any electrophile will not get enter into the ortho position rather it will get enter into this para position thus when acetanilide is reacted with chlorosulfonic acid that is this one clso3oh we will get electrophilic substitution reaction because this sulfur is attached with powerful electron withdrawing this 3 oxygen due to which the sulfur will acquire the partial positive charge and will be in need of electrons. So for the sake of electron this sulfur attack on this benzene ring which is the source of pi electrons. So when this sulfur attack at this para position the hydrogen of this para position goes on to this hydroxy group to make a water molecule which is liberated out from here and this sulfonyl chloride group is then get attached at this para position and this gives us formation of this derivative which is called as para estamido benzene sulfonyl chloride this sulfonyl chloride derivative then is reacted with ammonia this is also the famous reaction Ammonia being the nucleophile attack on 
the sulfur to bring the nucleophilic substitution reaction by release of one HCl molecule. Thus, this chlorine will be liberated out from here and the amino group in the form of NH2 will get attached on to this sulfur to give us formation of this derivative which is called as para-acetamido-benzene sulfonamide. This derivative, that means this sulfonamide derivative, then undergoes hydrolysis. The hydrolysis will break this amide bond to liberate out the acetic acid molecule and it will give the free amino group. So this hydrolysis will give us formation of this very important molecule which is called as para amino benzene sulfonamide which is commonly called as sulfanilamide. This sulfanilamide derivative then is reacted with acetic anhydride once again. By this reaction the acetyl group is introduced on this amino group and this amide nitrogen also this gives us the formation of this diacetyl derivative here you can find that the acetyl group is introduced on this amino group and this nitrogen of this sulfonamide so this diacetyl derivative then is reacted with zinc in presence of sodium hydroxide this condition that is zinc and NaOH will bring the selective deacetylation that is the removal of the acetyl group from the amide which is obtained from carboxylic acid that means this amide portion that is RCO and NH it is clearly obtained from the acid so the zinc and NaOH when reacted with this diacetyl derivative brings this deacetylation on this amino group so the acetyl group is removed out from here and it will liberate out the free amino group over here but the acetyl group on this amide nitrogen will remain intact and this is our titled compound that is sulfacetamide so that is all about the synthesis of sulfacetamide. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.